If there is a message for us today, I believe it is to learn to live from our heart in love. These short lessons, hopefully, will help to inspire you to live with purpose, love passionately, and inspire others. We are the change agent our world needs. I'm Helen Taves. Step into the river today with me to explore the mysteries of God. They are not hidden from us, but for us to discover. <laughs> anyway, I just want to say welcome to everybody. And I know people uh, are, are still coming on and uh, you are so welcome to be with us tonight. It is uh, beautiful, beautiful spring here in Manitoba. I'm sorry about the, the Zoom. I have no idea what happened with the... Um, uh, I, it, it just says I timed out and I I pay not to time out every month. Uh, so I don't know what happened. So if we, if something happens and we time out, I will uh, restart us, but I'm believing we won't. So there we go. I'm hoping tonight for a bit of a round table. I, I would like to, I'd like to hear from, you guys um uh, i last week i i shared the the um i am uh, meditation that i've been doing the breathing in i am and then and then breathing out i am love and then breathe in i am i am love anybody not catch up with that cuz i'm happy to okay I I am going to take a minute then for for Rick and and Karen. Uh <clears throat> I and the reason I want to do that is because I am finding I I am just I'm just having a personal time with with you guys right now that that I'm feeling is transitional in my life. Uh I'm I'm loving the journey and I kind of would like to share it along the way. And what I'm hoping for is that maybe you guys, if isn't that awful language, you guys? That's really old, isn't it? I'm hoping. <laughs> thanks, Rick. I feel the same way. Uh, um, but I'm I'm hoping that that uh, that maybe you'll catch my heart on this and join in for a period of time. The reason I am so uh, passionate really about this particular uh, meditation time is is because it is proving in my life to actually be the most effective thing that changes my thinking all the time now like it, um i ha i had a um situation uh, something came across i was on on um, social media something came on a, a news feed and talked about this person that was let off the, this person had had killed a child and then was let off and there was and and I found myself first of all angry then judging then planning the revenge like i i'm not saying sitting there for an hour Okay, and and having this go through that all happened like that. I was angry and and I lashed out. Now I didn't say a word. I didn't say a word, but inside me it happened, and I was so amazed at how quickly I shut myself down after after that. So, and I mean it, and I mean it feeling really, really good about it. The fact that I didn't let myself stay in that, entertain it for another second, revisit it, nothing. Have a con this is the first time I brought, brought it up in a conversation. And I'm realizing that as this week, I'm just taking this last week after uh, I shared that with you last week, the how powerful it has been to rest in the place of I am. And I know we've had, Kim has done some 
fabulous teacher. I like she's she's my hero on I am. She has done well, and now it's a couple of years ago where where she came on to the river with us. And and as you know, as she introduced, uh, we we all knew the terminology. We've heard it. Uh, we've you know, for me, there's been fits and starts of understanding it, but her passion brought us into this this place of of reality and realizing we are I am. Now, that's all fine and dandy, isn't it? And because we can intellectually understand that we are I am, but when it hits your heart, and when that and 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 that uh, let, mm, our heart is not a, our pump. It's not, although it does a lot of things, as we know, it's that energy center that is actually the center of our universe is our heart. That's how powerful. That's how important it is. And that that uh, that energy that that we have been created with can change not one or two things, it can change everything. Because when we realize the power of it, and we realize the power of I am in that, we realize that whole the whole universe is in us. And there's no separation. There is nothing, when we say, say nothing missing, nothing broken, it's a real deal. And in the energy that we've been created by, we create from. So uh, I'm just going to backtrack a little bit now for those who didn't, who weren't here for, for that. I learned this, um, this particular meditation and it's probably the easiest I've ever, ever learned. And all it, it simply is, is to be comfortable, breathe in as, as deeply as you can, like from your your uh, root chakra to to your head, just breathe in, and as you're breathing in, in in your heart, say, "I am." Bring the "I am" that fills your body, and then as you breathe out, you breathe out "I am," and then whatever it is that's in coming from your energy of your heart like i am i am health i am wealth i am wisdom i am love i am unlimited i am patient i am kind it go it goes on and on but when you do it just breathing in i am and letting letting that fill and then when you breathe out i am and you're not speaking it out you can but i i feel it um for me i just do it in internally and breathe it out as my thoughts. You know, your thoughts and your words are, are equally powerful. And so you breathe out whatever it is. When when Moses, we, we know in Exodus, when Moses said to uh, ask, asked God, who, who are you? Who do I say sent me? Then the, his answer was, I am that I am, what, right? That was that was God's answer to Moses, and do you, do you know we don't have a name for God? We have made up names for God. I'm going to leave this with you. I may go further into it, but but <clears throat> He said, "I am that I am." We know that the breakdown of I of the I am that I am in the Hebrew letters is Yod Hey Vav Hey. And people have created Yahweh out of that. But you know what? Yahweh is a loner word. It doesn't actually exist because we, we weren't told to make it into a word. So I am is where we rest. Now, the reason I'm saying that is because there's a lot of, we can we can go really deep and long uh, in this, but I'm not going to do it alone. I'm not going to I'm not going to swim in there alone. So when when we when we do this particular meditation and you <clears throat> and I've I've been doing it different times in the day uh at night sometimes I'll do it for a long time sometimes I'll do it for a few minutes 
But what it's doing to me is, is it's bringing me into a reality of I really am. I really am. I am. Because it, it has become my dominant thought. It's become my dominant energy. It's becoming my dominant purpose. It because when I'm when when I'm saying it now, after now, I didn't just start it last week, by the way. I I you know that I don't share something I haven't been haven't proven for myself. But the intensity of it is it is getting me to fly really high with this. So um <clears throat> Here's what happened one morning. I heard the words saying, it's all about positioning. And I went, yeah, exa exactly. That's what, that's what this does. It positions me squarely into I am. When you do it, it just the breathing in, I am, I am. And then we, the I am that, I am, I am. I, uh, health, I am wealth, I am, and you just release it. Your whole focus is just on that. It's not on how can I make money? How, what doctor do I need to see? What medicine do I have to have? What, who do I have to call? And, but you'll find, I have found myself in the words like health, wealth, wisdom, actually taking form as I'm releasing them. And I'm not I am not um, analyzing it and I'm not trying to take it any further than just releasing it because my next breath is I am. So what I, I'm seeing now is as I release it, I don't have to analyze it. If I have something that is happening in my body, for instance, and I'm, and I went from, I am health to, I am divine health. I don't know what that all means, but it's being unpacked. And so when I when I breathe in the I am, I'm actually receiving what I just breathed out. It went to a place that that, that is that divine conscious, consciousness and the divine intelligence of God Himself, who I am, who is it, it goes in, but here's what happens: it changes from a, um, an energy to a particle to to a ma to matter it changes so that that when that exchange may is made something actually is happening i don't know how to explain it other than that but to say that unless you do it you won't experience it and i really believe that the most, and I wrote, I wrote it down here on my paper, the most important thing in our lives is to intimately know who you are, who I am in I am, so that I am. And it's, it's like, it's no more Mr. Nice Guy. You just, I, I am. Like, I'm not trying not trying to analyze it, not trying to figure anything out in it. The, the, that whole system of just sitting and marinating in I am so, and that's, and that's all, that's all that it is. It doesn't matter what comes at, at us. And I, and I was just moved to, to write down, there are no evil forces. There's no threats of man. Nothing can come against your character or no false accusation, no lies, no unkind words, nothing, no, 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 nothing, war, poverty, um, anxiety, guilt, shame, nothing can come against you because of who you are. Do you realize that? Like, you don't have to put up a shield. You don't have to cast down and, and raise up. You don't have, you just have to be, just be and, and rest in that. So then one night I'm, and I, and I wake up, I just go right into, into I am. 
I don't let if there's something to worry about, if there's um, a pain or I don't don't give it attention, go right into there. And I started realizing that the that I really am. I not just I am abstractly, but I am love. I am patient. I am and I'm and I'm going in that and it's becoming so real. And I think I shared it last week because it, it, uh, it it's a fairly recent thing the, to be able to rest in saying, I am God. That was very, 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 and very to the nth degree difficult. And then I realized, okay, if Jesus and he, and, and I, I just, I'm just falling in love more and more with the character of Yahweh. Of not Yahweh, sorry, of Yeshua. Yahshua. Jesus in English. Because he was so real in the end, and I'm real seeing him so so real. Because when when they, the 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 uh, Pharisees came to stone him. And all he said is, "What are you? What are you doing, guys? Why are you? Why are you trying? Why are you trying to kill me? Why are you stoning me? You got a good reason." And they said, "Yes, we have a good reason because you've set yourself up as God." And his answer was, "Well, isn't it written in your law, ye are gods?" So he's quoting uh, uh, their their own. But you know, all of a sudden, I realized that wasn't his law. That wasn't his his gig. He said, isn't it written in your law? So he's putting it back on them to accuse him of something that they actually stand in. And, and I think, well, you know what? And he said, I, I'm going to read the whole thing. Jesus said, isn't it written in your law? I have said that you are God's. If he called them gods to whom the word of God came, the scripture cannot be set aside. And what about the one whom the father set apart as his very own and sent into the world? Why then do you accuse me of blasphemy? Because I am, God. I said, I am God's son. Do not believe me unless I do the works of my father. This is, uh, I think, the amplified. But if I do them, even though you do not believe me, believe in the works that you may know and understand that the father is in me and I am the father. And, and I actually love that in, in, um, in, in Philippians two, six in the Amplified says who, although he existed in the form and unchanging essence of God as one with him, possessing the fullness of all the divine attributes, the entire nature of deity, did, he did not regard equality with God a thing to be grasped or asserted as if he did not already possess it or was afraid of losing it. Whoa. <clears throat> He didn't consider it wrong. He didn't consider it anything um, to be, he didn't feel like he was, was cheating anybody. And yet we have been so indoctrinated. I've been, I've been so indoctrinated that God is over there somewhere. And I even, I even listened to a, a friend of mine who was, was preaching on this. And, and he said uh, you, that we have to continually go in and out to be clean to be clean and then we come out we we go in and we see him and we're with him and in that he cleans he cleans us up and then we're we come back with that and i go whoa okay i think that's good i think it's good to spend time with god but it doesn't really apply if that's who i am so then who am i if i am not I am. But he says you are. We are we are one with him. 
just the same as God is three in one. We are, we are one. Okay. So then I started in this time of, I, I, I just, I thank you. Thank you for the grace of listening really and truly, but I, I'm feeling the depth of this. I'm feeling the passion of it. I'm feeling because I am changing. I am, I, uh, I, I did not not like who I was, actually. I thought I was really coming along just fine. But I'm really liking the inner me that nobody sees or knows other than my works or, or my words. And I am loving the fact that I am who he says I am. And there's amazing peace in there. So then I thought, okay, let's look if... I am, if I am that, like I am love, and I started as, as part of that meditation, and I, and I went into Galatians 5.22. Do you know I didn't remember all of the fruit of the Spirit? I really didn't. I had to look it up. But the, their character traits of God, their character traits of I am. And these character traits, first of all, God is love, right? So therefore, I am love. But in the character of him, we know him because he is uh, joy, he is peace, he is long-suffering, he is gentle, he is good, he is faith, he is meek, he is temperate. He, he, he is all of that. Therefore, I am. So in that beautiful, quiet silence i can release that and that and that i am i am long suffering i am patient i am kind i am gentle and you know what it's not like you're trying to talk yourself into something you're just resting in the in your own breath in the i am and then i realized too that when you look in in uh, uh, First Corinthians, love is patient, love is kind, does not envy, does not boast. Where is it? Not proud, not rude, not self-seeking, not easily angered, keeps no account of wrongs, take no pleasure in evil, rejoices in the truth, bears all things, believe all things, hopes all things, endure all things. Now, I want that list that I've got written on a paper, part of my automatic just breathing i am truth i i am someone who does not account for wrongs i am not judging i am unconditional love i i am not proud i am not rude i am not self-seeking like just let that be in the silence to be who you are when I realized that, and the and I took the the fruit of the spirit, and then and then First Corinthians, I realized the intensity of love and all of the various character traits of love. When 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 that happened and is continuing to happen, I'm staying there. By the way, I'm staying there. I, I said, Father, I feel like. I'm spending so much time just doing this. This is it. And I said, I, I'm really holding so-and-so in my heart. And you know what he said? Well, take him with you. Take him with you. And I went, yeah. So I have had a situation, or I'm having them all the time, but uh, this past week I was holding a, a friend that I would normally just uh, uh, set an intention for, et cetera. And I just in, I just brought him into my I amness and released the same way I would for myself because I realized there's another layer and that is we are one. We are one. And so it became a, a it just became a beautiful flow and so easy. And I could rest in the love for this person and then release divine health and, and wisdom and the things that need it as well. 
So, um, where am I? I just got these little scriptures here. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Then I said, Lord, okay, what do I do with the the seven spirits of God? Like really and truly. I thought, are they part of who I am? So the question then was back to me. Well, where where are they? Where have you well I've always I've always thought this the 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 seven spirits of God. We're the same as God out there somewhere. You know, our Father who art in heaven? Well, because you see the seven spirits of God in Isaiah, you see it through the book of Revelation, standing before the, the throne. And, and then the reality of, it came to me, oh, this is all happening as I'm just breathing. This is, I am, I am love. I am patient. I am, I am. And I'm sitting there and the, and it's like, the revelation comes in tumbling into the I am at the same time. And, and I hear, where are, where, where are they? Well, they're in you. Where, and then all of a sudden I'm correcting myself, boom, like that, realizing, no, stop the separation. I am. Therefore, that's where they are. So when I when I see they're you know they're standing before the throne, do you know that that's not that that is it, it, we only separate them if we separate it as a, a as a place somewhere else. That the throne where is the throne of God? It's in us. The kingdom of God is in us. So as I'm in this, I am breathing in and then breathing out. Not all, the next thing that's happening is the kingdom within is expanding. The real, the reality that I am not in the cosmos, the cosmos is in me, expands. And I know that this is a lot of stuff just throwing at you, but I'm going to say it, this is really, uh, it's just been the most peaceful and settling and grounding and exciting all at the same time all at the same time but i'm loving this because i'm not alone in it we're all in it so when <clears throat> it's so hard to it's so hard to express find the words to express what you actually are experiencing and and find the words it's like trying to explain why you've fallen in love with somebody and they look at you what what are you thinking <laughs> that kind of thing anyway i i uh, <clears throat> i just want i i just wanted to open that up tonight to see where you guys are um, I'm trying to explain, trying to share where I am. If this helps at all, I will be really excited for you, with you. Um, and if if not, I've just thrown a lot of words at you. And I just hope that some of them have come from my heart to yours. But it's a very exciting place to be. Is that solidly entrenched in I am. Gina. Thank you. Um, I loved what you shared tonight and what you shared last night, uh, last week, because um, it got me pondering and got me sitting with it. Um, and then, of course, you sit with it and stuff happens. And like you say, how do you explain that that stuff? Um, but I was kind of thinking about, you know, where we've come from and what we've been told and how we've been taught. And and uh, for me in, in my journey at, at this juncture, it's um, sort of a 
let's look at that and see what that really is in in the plumb line that I that I now live in in my, in a different reality of of the I am because that wasn't a thing before. That's right. It was I had to, you know, evil was a part of the world and the devil was a thing that you know came against you and um and i think well no evil is the opposite of live and christ came so that to bring life and life abundantly and i think okay so why did jesus come like what up and i could give you all the religious reasons for all that mm -hmm. but i thought really what why mm -hmm. to bring us into union with god that's why i narrowed it down to that's right I thought, okay bring us into union there's a reason why we were not in union with god he came to 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 be god in this world to us and be the example and show us how to live and live abundantly and in him we live and move and have our being and i thought okay that that's good so be the image be the likeness be the reflection of god and in order for me to do that i have to look inside that inner mirror and then see it because it's not about a thing i learned or it's not about a thing I thought or a paradigm I lived by or a belief system. It is, what is that in, in me? Um, so discovering myself in him became a, a, an important pondering. Mm -hmm. And um, so I thought about Okay, getting into the promised land. Let's talk about that for a second, because there's a thing. They had to get into the promised land. Well, for me now, getting into the promised land is like getting a hold of my sacred self and living from that realm. That's the promised land. It's not doing a thing so I can get that. It doesn't depend on anything except... Uh, Seeing in a mirror, not dimly, but very clearly, my sacred self mm -hmm. from the point of view of living and moving and having my being in him. Mm -hmm. And him bringing me into union with God. And I thought, okay, wait a second now. I am God's plan for my life because I live in him. Mm -hmm. So that was like, mm -hmm. wow, wow. And it was freeing, you know, mm -hmm. my life, me, my own self, my essence, my sacred self is God's plan in this world. Yeah. Well, okay. Yeah. And, and it was becoming more clear to me. That's why Jesus came to show me that yeah to get me out of the whatever you got to do this blabberly it has to be this and you have to sit and pray and wait and but I, I am it my life me is god's plan in this earth yeah i thought okay wow and it's now it's not later it's not whatever i thought well the only value that remains um, in the past or in the future is its ability to connect with the present. Mm -hmm. And the present is, the present tense is, not I was, not I'm going to be, but I am. That's right. And so it's a now, now thing. That's right. Uh, so, you know, this, it was pretty fun to, you know, 
sit there in in all of that because it 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 became true my true my true self of truth and beauty and wisdom which i already am mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and i figured well i'm here in this earth i have a body it's a vehicle to experience and to express then the life of God. Because I am the plan of God in this earth. And here I am to express that, yeah. to be that, to live that, to walk in that. And so um, I also thought, okay, God defines me then by Christ. And I thought, wow. So God came, became man without ceasing to be God. Right? Yeah. So then I can be reflected, am God, without ceasing to be men. <laughs> so this union with God, that he is me and I'm in him and all that stuff, releases me to my true and real and sacred self. And... Um, I can be distinctly human in my union with God because that's what I am. Exactly. So, yeah, it was a pretty um, interesting week. Um, just sort of looking at a few things. You know, we want the new thing and, and we have been told or something. It's good to, you know... Uh, be current and um, have the newest Christian move or or do this or do that or listen to this person so you can get the what's, you know, groovy in the realm of God, right? Um, the latest message. And I thought, oh, no, I, I don't want any of that. And I, and I don't listen to a lot of people for, for that very reason. Um, well, I don't really listen to anybody except you guys. That's it. Because um, <laughs> I want the oldest message, the ancient message, the message from before the foundation of the earth that lives already in me that I am that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I already understand that because it's already written in my heart. It's already yeah. written in my mind. I already have it. And so it's the original authentic thought of god yeah yeah or intent of god <sighs> no i i'm so with you i'm so with you i it, the words the words aren't flowing in the in the excitement that is within me because i realize all of that what you're saying Gina is is so so relevant right so relevant and mm -hmm. all of the things that what what is what's beginning to happen is the character of God just in this one call it an exercise call it whatever just in this one activation uh in in being the breath of God changes us into the character of God without striving at any level it just comes the other thing that's happening along with it is that uh th things that that maybe you're tr you know have trouble with i i was having trouble with uh um, a muscle in in my leg and sort of limping up the stairs it, in the last week i'm just walking normally that it it's like you, it's it's not like you're not pursuing one thing you just are 
health. You just are strength. You just are. And it's a beautiful place to be, just yeah. to be. And he knows how to get everything to you that's necessary to, to uh, sustain you or to come alongside you in any, in any of these ways, if you will be who he is. Mm -hmm. And I think the musing of all of that, or the meditation, or whatever you want to call it, pondering, right. whatever we do, is, is being in the consciousness and That's in the exactly, awareness exactly right. of that I am that. That's what's changing, is our consciousness. Yeah. That's and I don't even... I don't even say I am this, I am that. Because I am. It, it's the weirdest thing. I don't know if that makes any sense at all. But it, it, it um, this true self <laughs> of truth. Yeah. Well, that's, um, why, that's why Maggie's yeah. among us because she's the one because yeah, she can put it into some something that find sense. the words and we will go oh <laughs> thank you that's exactly but I, I want to hear what, what I just said Maggie <laughs> <laughs> you are bamboozling me but I am but I am <laughs> I am taking I'm grasping it I'm smiling I'm smiling because the other day um, like Helen said um well, I had a pain in my shoulder and my neck like, really pinching me. And I I went into that meditation and it was almost as if um I acknowledged it and I took it with me. I took it with me, but I wasn't it didn't I didn't let it stop me. Sometimes I it, it, these things stop me from carrying on because it's so painful. But I just took it with me and I sort of said to myself, don't pay it too much attention, but just be aware of it. And I, you know, I went, I said, I am health. I took the breath in, I am health. Um, and I kept saying it, I kept saying, it, I'm healed, I'm health. You know, and after I finished, I came back to the meditation, it is gone. <laughs> so what you're saying, Helen, I'm smiling because it really does work, you know, and I've experienced it and I, and I want that for my husband. I'm saying, he shows me swollen legs and I said, you know, you don't have to have this. And, you know, if you could just, but then I've decided that I'm just taking him in now myself. And I think you said that tonight as well. So I just feel that, you know, that there's, there's so much synchronization going on and it's just overwhelming. But yeah, watch this space. I've been capturing some of the things that you're saying. So who knows? But oh. yeah, thank you, Helen, for tonight. Um, it's amazing. You're amazing, Maggie. Okay, we're going to go to Caroline. I don't want to miss her. Caroline. Where are you? Before you speak and get unmuted, I just want you to say, I just want you to know, Bobby and I had a conversation. Uh, we were talking about New Zealand and he said, mom, he said that Caroline is that I can honestly say I love her and I wished I could have just scooped her home with me. <laughs> now, he doesn't usually talk like that, just so you know. Uh, thank you thank you gosh thanks um thank you bobby can you um please take jake first because his hand was up before mine oh was it oh so, okay. yeah absolutely jake go man it, it wasn't hello no she was before me that's for sure oh yeah go ahead caroline no no problem there be blessed there's a <laughs> well, one of you is going to have to start to break the tie here. Okay. How, uh, how desperate uh, are you, Jake? You go for it if you're desperate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you, you do. It. It's it's you now. I'm muting. <laughs> okay. Oh, jeez. Where do I start now? I, 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 I was kind of on track now. Just like, oh, no, no. Um, all right. Well, the I am is something else. Like a, last week, I did say I am like a marshmallow. And uh, 
just simply doing this dive in. And I, I felt for me, it was easier to do it together. And uh, I was in so much like a marshmallow state. I don't know how much gushy, gushy, but deep peace. It's fantastic, you know, and and I'm I'm definitely in doing more of the practices of you know, going in and being, and of course, you know, things come up and about, and all of a sudden you're so okay. How do we do this? And and the, the funniest thing is, is that today I went for a long walk and I do power walks, and so. In the same time, I was just diving in there, but in the same time thinking, uh, because my job thing just didn't work out. And uh, so I'm there like, okay, uh, strategizing, you know, and just going in up and about. And, and the Lord comes up on the surface and he says, don't look on the left, look on the right, look upon me. And, and for me, looking upon him is the center focal point. It's the I am. And, and uh, I just let it all go. Let it all, like, you know, like, be melted away or whatever. And it was, it was awesome. It was great. And, you know, I still have to come back because uh, every part of me is always wanting to go back out there per se and not looking within and and just trying to make things happen by the things that I know or whatever. And it's uh it's quite a struggle because I in a sense if I stay too much there into that gushy gushy marshmallow piece, I, it's just like another part of me says, no, you have to get back out there and just you know, do what you need to do, right? And uh, but I I long for that part when I'm still am going to be and as always going to be in this center focal point of the I am, but function out of that. Let's say you know finding out the source and the resource from within, right? And. Uh, I, I tell you, it's not easy because uh, you know, sometimes I'm a worry for it, per se, and uh, I, I get like pulled away. But whenever those moments come, I, I just regather myself back into the I am. Okay. Yeah. And, and uh, it's it's powerful. It, it it is ever so powerful. Uh, just maybe about two weeks ago, I was the other side of our building, which is very very nice. Maybe I mentioned it. And um, there's a lot of trees and a lot of white mist and everything else. And I just soaked into it so much that it's like you get pulled right into it. And it's almost as if you can see everything as a one piece. That whole puzzle, per se. And, and then uh, <laughs> in two days, it's almost as if it's gone. But you, you go back, you try to go back to, to that kind of a state. And, and, for me, anyways, it's never the same. But yeah, just uh, practicing this and and like I ever so love what you said, Gina, about it's not the fact of this saying I am, you know, I am, I am, I am, I am. This, it's just a, a <laughs> if it's the right word, that being into that state of being. Uh, and um, not trying to work it out, you know, with all our machines in us, and but just being. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, 
It's an ongoing revelation. It's never the same depth the, or angle. And I'll leave it at that. <laughs> no, Jake, that's really good. And I, I like, I, I know that the challenges too that come into our minds of I need to be doing this um, I, I would really like to encourage you that, yes, we have to, There, the baby doesn't get fed by itself. The bathroom doesn't get cleaned. The bed doesn't get made. The laundry doesn't get done. You know, all the things that have to be a part of our, our life. But it's, it is who we are in essence, even coming into the things like in your case of, uh, you know, putting out resumes, having interviews, even thinking through your the desires of you know what what are your desires, but in in the the expression and the release of the I am that I am I am whatever that that is, when that is released, here's what we're going to start seeing or or not just we'll see it of course we will because because God's faithful but because He knows how to to get to meet you in that place of you know i am prosperous i am wealth i am healed i am wisdom i am uh, into your i ams if you can let see them released and know that they're going into the place of the most divine intelligence compassion faithfulness and and creativeness that there is and if you stay in that place in love, all that gets done. And because that's how it works. That's how it works. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to leave it right there. I'm with you, Jake, with you. Caroline. Um, to be really honest, um, what Helen what you said and Gina said in particular, um, I'm really just saying the same. But um, I had a thing yesterday. <laughs> um, I just jotted a couple of bits down. Um, it's like this. It'll be like this for everyone, but I'm explaining it. When you get a revelation, it comes with a certain amount of power. That's what you just said, Helen. That so when you get a revelation on I am, then it's there's no work. There's no works and hard and trying and remembering. And because once you've had the revelation, the beginning of it, um, I, I think that when God gives you a revelation, you have a certain amount of power to come to kick it off. But as the revelation grows or deepens, so does the power. No. Um, and I had a revelation on love about two years ago. And I didn't love everyone, but I started loving people that I didn't love. <laughs> and, of course, love means all those things. It doesn't mean it's, a, it's not necessarily a noun, in my words. It's a doing word. Um, so when we say... I am, it's fairly powerless unless you've got some revelation on it. So this is what happened yesterday in a nutshell. I was driving in my car and I had a very big revelation. Bang. And it took my mind over for the rest of the day. For the rest of the day, I kind of wasn't around. Um, and even though I didn't really think a lot about the revelation, it was just burying itself in me. And so, you know how we, we know as he is, so am I, which is Jesus. So yeah. whatever he is, so am I. Well, the revelation was, I am a redeemer, that word. I am a redeemer. But it was not just like, yeah, yeah, I am health, I am this. Suddenly when I heard, because he said it to me, I am a redeemer, I'm like, I got it. I got it. And so it's like, what did Jesus do? Well, he left absolutely everything to redeem us. What did he redeem us from? Well, yep, our sins, ourselves, forgiveness. That was the big one. 
because forgiveness was what he did, and to give me a new life. So I'm a redeemer. So I got that. And then I thought, well, what does that look like? How, how am I a redeemer to people? And it's actually the next level of love. Wow. Um, it means that I, I've just written this down, it means that I redeem all the people I ever have around me. Anyone that I am in any sort of life with, touch with, I redeem them. And how do I redeem them? It's my job. Jesus redeemed me. It's my job. It's my responsibility to redeem you. <laughs> it's my responsibility to redeem my narcissistic sister who hates me and has cut me off. It's my it's my responsibility to redeem them. All these years, I've loved them and said, I love my sister. What a shame that that's the situation, but I still love her. But now, the next level is I'm redeeming her. So what does that mean? Well, it means I forgive her. Well, that's why I've done that. And But how do I give her a new life? Well, the old way would say I pray for them, intention for them. But I've really um, been thinking about that too. And something that actually Neville Goddard said once answered it. And actually another lady, but anyway, that you go and, and I've done it over the years with people and it's changed people. I have conversations with them all the time in the imagination. And I just say, um, and you never, 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 never refer to their sin because there's no sin because I've redeemed them of their sin. So I would say, oh, um, hey, it's so cool to see you, sister. <laughs> I just love seeing you. And you're just the kindest person because there's always good things about them. And on and on and on. And um, so when you've had a conversation, now, what Neville actually said was, if you do this all the time, every time they come into your mind, you it not it's not just going to happen. You will create that situ new situation. And because they have to, it's part of it. It's part of what happens. So I'm redeeming them. I'm like so blinking excited. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I can't stop thinking about it day and night. All last yesterday, all night long, I was thinking about it. And I was so excited. It's like, I am a redeemer. And then, you know how all these people, it's the latest thing in the last 10 years, talk about the garden of your heart. Well, I've never got it. I never understood that. It was like, oh, blinking gardens and mountains and someone's looking after my mountain till I can and all that stuff. Well, it's like I just can't stand it all. It's all cryptic. So all of a sudden I realised I saw my garden of my heart and I saw this tree in it <laughs> and it was all messed up around the bottom and I thought, that's my sister in my heart. She's a tree because she's a big feature. She's a family member. And what am I doing? I've let it grow weeds and I'm not pruning her in my garden. Not going to prune her as a person out there, but in my garden, I'm not pruning her. So I set to and I, I didn't weed it like, that's not me to do that. I just weeded it away with a nice conversation and I said oh my sister you're so beautiful I love you in my life and I um, said some wonderful things you know what I feel like a different person because I'm redeeming her like Jesus redeemed us so that's very much fitting in with what you you lady said isn't it yeah is that right I, I'm I've done it now and that was too long, but I'm so excited and it happened. If it had happened six days ago, you wouldn't have got such a long talk, but it happened only yesterday. So so I'm like bubbling, <laughs> being a redeemer. I am a redeemer. Well, so are all of you. We just have to, I only woke to it yesterday. I mean, everyone, probably Neville Goddard woke to it a hundred years ago, but anyway. 
Okay, mm. I'm now going to close onto mute. <laughs> oh, don't you dare. Don't you dare. That is so good. I am I am putting redeemer into my into my uh, meditation i love that oh i'm really 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 going to intention that maggie does a poem on being a redeemer <laughs> that got you looking <laughs> okay no pressure no pressure maggie no pressure <laughs> give the girl a rest i mean really work 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 <laughs> Caroline, that was exquisite, absolutely exquisite. And I can hardly wait to see the fruit of all of that, whether it's 10 years from now or tomorrow. But lots of times when it starts amping up like that, it's because uh, there's something at the door, you know, that's, that is beautiful, beautiful. Can hardly wait for next week, if that's what happened this week. Elizabeth. <clears throat> oh, what to say after that no kidding <laughs> wow Caroline that's so awesome I mean I I don't know why my thumb keeps going up but <laughs> hallelujah <laughs> I love that so much because it's like that is what's real and what's eternal you know and we're sewing in and we're joining in on what is really real yeah. I love that so I don't know what I want to say, but I just want to say something because <laughs> I'm all in. And um, so I put my hand up, but I just, well, Todd today was struggling with something. He's, well, what were you? Oh, I guess it was his parents' anniversary. They're both in heaven. And and then we were also going over our will and, um, trust. you know, our, our trust. Yeah. So that's that's was challenging. I had to really talk to the Lord about that. And, <laughs> you know, um, but yeah, he was really struggling. And I said, I said, you know, we just, we think of in these bodies, we, this separation mentality is so ingrained, you know, I mean, our whole lives, we felt like God was somewhere out there and, and here we are. And, and it's like, we're resetting ourselves, but I, I just touched them right here. And I said, I said, remember you are God. Like, how does that change how you see this? And he said, just me, just even touching him here and saying that like instantly it shifts everything. Yeah. You know, our perspective on every single thing is changed. And, um, and, and I feel like I'm so excited about the whole I am thing and thing, <laughs> but it's like this whole life, our whole lives, however we believe, you know, but it's, it's like, this is the pinnacle and it's the beginning of the pinnacle, but re pinnacle, real pinnacle, <laughs> realizing the truth that, you know, like even in church, we we're like, well, I'm not God, but you know, I'm one with God. You know, it's like, we were always checking our words, but no, I, I am, I am God. I am God in this world. And it changes everything. And I know for me, like it takes a lot of just sitting in the stillness and um, stepping into the realization of what we've been saying for a while. Like we've, we've, we heard this truth, you know, it's like it hit us, but it's just been opening up this deep well, this eternal realm to us. And so, yeah, so I, I do a lot of, um, just sitting and engaging and, and it's like, I do heart brain coherence, but I see my, my heart as a sun and like the central sun and just it expands. And so I, I just end up being expanded and light. And when you see yourself, uh, yourself as light, you, you're sore, you know, you're illumined, you everything. And so, and realizing also, you know, how we've talked about I'm source and resource, like it all unfolds from within. 
it's the things that we've been talking about for a while now, but it really is. And we're realizing that this is the truth, that there's nothing outside of myself that is, you know, that's real. It's all from within. It's all the me is the within, is the within unfolding out. And I don't know, you know, we're all, I'm tripping over my words, but I know we're all saying the same thing, maybe just in our own unique way, but it is so glorious and amazing. And then even talking about the new era that we've stepped into, it's all together, you know, just this awakening into God consciousness, being God here, not just saying it, but living it. So anyway, (laughs) I just kind of wanted to add my bit. (laughs) Oh, it's it's such tonic for me that actually somebody else is is looking for words. I, I, but because I can feel what you're saying and I love it. I absolutely love it. And, and I love that you brought up um, this, you know, realizing we're not separated from even subjects like even when i was looking at at you know what love is patient kind of it's not out there it's here it's here you don't have to think from within exactly so perfectly said so perfectly said wow go ahead todd well you all you all set us up um, for this, the last couple of weeks, and this this happened before last week, but um, it's you know there is no time. So I I think I see now what was really going on. Just those moments. These these are the moments that I need, right? Because this is still hard for me to to get there and and say it. I mean, I I can intellectualize it, and every once in a while I can see it. Um, but I was at a place, and I was I really had a craving for a burger, which I told Elizabeth was the Holy Spirit. <laughs> and she she wasn't sure but I went and it was because there was a family there in front of me and it was a woman with three or four kids and I can't stop thinking about the woman who who helps clean our house she walked here from Guatemala when she was 15 years old and she has all those stories I mean with just her money was stolen someone took care of her um she was safe nothing horrible happened to her like happens to many um but she started here with nothing and you know um I I think of her story so often now because it 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 brings that's my anchor for compassion in many ways right now and I just saw this young woman with these three kids and I was in a burger place called five guys it's not cheap I mean it's 20 some dollars when I walk out of there and I don't even get the milkshake anymore and I was looking at her just doing the math in my head. I'm like, that's $80, $90 she's ordering. And I was just, I thought it was so cool. But when it came time to pay, I just was overwhelmed. And I stepped up and I said, in Spanish, are you the mother? And she said, um, only this one. And I said, well, happy Mother's Day. Because it was a couple of days before. And I said, I'm going to pay. And they gave her her cash back. And anyway, I paid and, you know, I felt good about that. She was very grateful and I thought it was done, but that was not what I was there for. What I was there for was the next moment when I went to pay and the machine didn't work. And this really cool styled um, young African-American guy, um, uh, just cool dreadlocks, great glasses. Like he was, as they would say, he was drip. He was dripping. I mean, he just had so much. He was so much cooler than anybody else in there. And he was the guy behind the register and he just stepped up and he goes, oh, I wanted to see how much that was. Mm. And I'm confused because it didn't go through. And he prints the receipt and it says zero. And I just looked up at him and he said something so fast I didn't understand it. He goes, I had to think for a minute. And he said, Father's Day right behind Mother's Day. This one's on me. Oh, my gosh. And. I got to tell you, I was so moved. I, I was, I was so caught off guard. I was so caught off guard, but he was so moved by what I had done that he stepped up and paid for my meal. 
And I mean, that may not sound like a lot, but I got to tell you, I, I had to stand there and wait for them to prepare it without completely breaking down because I was so wrecked by the love of God that was so quickly reflected back to me that I had to sit there and go, why would he do that? I don't, I don't even know if she needs the help, but I, I know I don't need the help, but why? And I just had to sit there and wait in public in front of the mother and her family and in front of the staff who had just seen it and try to keep my cool <laughs> until I got to the car. And um, it just moves me to this day. But it's it's moments like that that help me remember. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. That that felt like it fit. Because I was just being who I'm supposed to be in that moment. Not, you know, no names. We didn't exchange names. I didn't get her story, any of that. Yeah. But just that quick moment where God just went, oh, yeah? Watch Let this. me show you who you are. <laughs> so it was cool. That is so, so good. So good. Elizabeth, when he needs to go for a burger, you, you just have to release, you know. Need to let him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just let him. No, I th I think that 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 testimony um, really is the divine synchronicity of of God, and and really the the uh, excitement of what we're trying to put words to, because that that is how that is kingdom life. That 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 should be our normal life right and uh just just moving along and and flowing with that love and and giving and uh wow what a, what a moment for you i can i can i can feel it so good I can imagine yeah so good so good oh thank you rick and karen right yeah. yeah, I thought Gina had her hand up ahead of us. Oh. No. Okay. Well, um, let's see. Where do I begin? Well, one of the, I just appreciate this whole conversation. It just fits in with things I've been um, meditating on, thinking about. Um, but one of the things I wanted to say is I'm reading a very old book that was written in 1935. It's a meditation book called Strength and Stillness. And it talks about um, things that we understand about quantum physics today, only not that language because they didn't have it back then, but how we catch each other's energy. And so um, that really is profound to me. And we think about the conversation we've had and what we're releasing and who is being touched by this, who knows where in the world. But one of the things that I, I so appreciate this opportunity to take another step in the direction Father has us going. He knows, only he knows exactly what that is, but um, I'm just like, I just needed space to step away and say, God, I just want to love myself like you love me. And one of the meditations that I've been doing, and I haven't been sleeping much, so I've been doing it for hours in the night, is um, thy love makes me whole. It's over and over again. And imagining that I'm releasing that all over the world. And then, Carolyn, you tell the story about your sister. And I'm just like, oh my goodness. I just, you know, how can I say this? Um, yeah, I just miss one of my daughters. And there's just <clears throat> a rift between us has been for many years. And I love what you said because I released that love to her all, all the time, but now I get to step in deeper and I get to have conversations with her, with my imagination. I, that is so powerful. I love that. And the other thing was in the midst of all this for myself, hopefully this is making sense somewhat, 
It doesn't have to. Um, but in the mirror in 1 Corinthians 13, it says, I gaze face to face that I may know me, even as I've always been known. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, I can't even explain. I mean, that's huge. I look face to face with him that I can know me. Ah, it's profound. So that's all. That Karen, that's really powerful. That is really, really powerful. <clears throat> I love how when things dovetail like like this too, like uh, Todd's testimony and Gina's and Caroline, and then it all comes together and and uh, wow, how how beautiful. Thank you all for sharing and and uh, and. <clears throat> Can hardly wait to see what your garden looks like, Karen. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you for sharing that. I'm Greg. So I was thinking before, just a little freebie here. Have you ever heard of the observer effect? Yeah. Yeah. I just think it's so neat because light uh, changes to more of a physical aspect when you see it. And then just how many things like where we're seeing things of the Lord in our lives, yeah. oh, it's established then. It's like it's it's beyond just light. It's so many things like that. And then uh, just for myself, uh, feeling that uh, it's not uh, striving towards taking on, you know, different aspects of the Lord, but rather uh, surrender. It's 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 a, it's a passive or a relief or yeah surrender. I think I can't think of a better word for it. It's just the opposite of striving. And uh, yeah, Absolutely. for me, it's yeah obtaining the sacred self or stepping into the sacred self yeah. through surrender. Yeah, it's been good. The Lord has been challenging me to health. So. The, Greg, I think you found the words we were groping for. That that's really that's really good. That that is actually what surrender is actually what it what the I am meditation is about. Because you can't do it in striving, because no. then you're not I am, right? And I yeah. love what you said about the observer. If you if you know, people haven't studied it. Um, the observer effect without it actually things don't get created you know that yeah. uh, so this is a this is a real good reminder as well in the of the intricacies that ha that happen in our rest as as we release what it is and we we actually observe it we see it that thank you thank you for all those words we were looking for <laughs> appreciate it <laughs> That's awesome. Thanks, um, Kathy. I have a couple of things that I wanted to share. One was I, I actually was having difficulty with the meditation, even with, you know, having had all the teaching for a couple of years on the I am, I still found that I was um, needing to modify it and just maybe just where I'm at in it. I was just had it having to do like in God, I am health in God I am and I think just helping um me position or to um be able to do it with uh, authentically yeah. you know rather than just repeating words because well that's what the meditation is but just being able to to allow myself okay that that's where I'm at right now and that's okay you know and just to be to be honest, honest in that. So that was helpful for me to come to that place of being, allowing myself that space. And uh, as really, secondly, I wanted to share, um, uh, appreciated what Todd was, was sharing. It just reminded me um, that I'd, this, the idea of I am, like we're all in this space of, you know, uh, of understanding our I amness. But the beautiful thing is that we together are I am like it's actually in our I amness that we have there is an leaning into what Greg was talking about and the and what Rick Karen was um, alluding to about quantum um, mechanics or the quantum physics 
just that we are interconnected and and that beauty of in in our I amness we are <laughs> we are I am you know and and just uh, even in moments of why it kind of what Todd was sharing reminded me that you know when we're in out in our neighborhoods and interacting with people and that we are I am with those we're encountering even those we don't know right there is that uh, the oneness that we have with all of humanity that is we can express that in um, our who we are in our interactions you know just being able to say to the cashier how is your day you know not just like hey how's it going you know whatever and not expecting an answer or whatever but actually leaning in yeah with yeah. people in our community sorry i'm crying i don't know why <laughs> um i i think just partly because i really feel it you know i really um believe it that oneness we have with each other and you know of course us together in this group we we can go deeper in our inter relationship you know and understanding each other and hearing each other's hearts but even on that purely human level on the natural level understanding our oneness with all of those around us is so powerful right. and i think it affects it should affect the way we interact with others like we're not just che treating them as um objecting objectifying each other you know that's right and um the is the other, my son Sammy has to do these volunteer hours, and uh, we created a little project because going into spaces, volunteering is a little challenging. And so he planned and put together these little care packages, which we hand out to the homeless as we're going to school. You know, they'll we'll stop at a light and we'll hand them out, uh, like with water bottles and socks and granola bars, sort of thing. And uh, the one when I have time, I will just stop and ask, what's your name? And we met a fellow this week. And when I stopped and asked him that, you could see him like, just like, like almost like what? Somebody is willing to ask me my name? You know, that I'm not just some object to throw money at, you know, uh, someone to appease our sense of guilt oh I have they don't hear I'm going to do it but just be able to truly see them you know to see other people I think that's why I'm so emotional and our, our need to really see one another is just so powerful absolutely so yeah absolutely wow <laughs> oh you've said you've just said so much and so went so deep oh, th thank you for sharing that you changed uh, the meditation for you i love that i love that uh, I, and i appreciate you sharing it because uh, i know you know the principle but when you unlock something like that for you and you share it you're unlocking for others as well and um, i think that m more important than uh, anybody sharing uh, like I did for, for this it is us catching it um, because it's better caught than taught, you know, and you're caught it. Uh, and I agree with you that uh, we forget, we, f we forget to engage face to face, look people in the eyes and remember the names and uh, you've just stirred something in me. I uh, I thought I was pretty good at it until you've just stirred in a few things. So I really appreciate you sharing that. And good for Sammy. What a great opportunity for him to, to do that with you. Wow. It has been good. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Kathy. Sharina. Uh uh, I'm just like, I don't know what to share already now. It's just, just too much. Yeah, uh, Kathy, I just really know what you're feeling. I feel it too. 
uh, because I think that's what we're supposed to do. The compassion of the Lord is in you. And then I feel the same and I see the sufferings going on. And we are to, yeah, we know who we are and those people, we they don't know who they are. And then uh, the same thing for Caroline, you know, it's like a redeemer. We are the redeemer. We are. And then I feel like God is preparing us for this. That's what in my journey now I'm here. I just feel like because I need to be filled, you know, so I can give it out. And that's what I I want to do also. Uh, because, yeah, and then knowing that I am, we need to know really who we, I am, I am. And I have been practicing it. Uh, and uh, that's where I am. I am practicing, <laughs> even though sometimes I haven't really manifested some areas yet, but I don't, I don't care. But that's the truth. I am that I am. And then, um, yeah, so it is, uh, <laughs> it's so, it is so much. It is like, um, you know, we are the visible image of the invisible God, you know, it says. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, uh, so we are the visible image of the invisible God. That is actually the truth we are. So we can make a change and we can make a difference. We, and when Caroline was talking, I felt like she's, she was co-creating that. She was co-creating. Yeah. Uh, and um, yeah, that's what she did with her sister. Uh, and we all can do that. You know, we can go into the I amness and we can co-create what we want. Uh, and uh, yeah. <laughs> was awesome. And I also felt Isaiah 61 is fulfilling there. Uh, you know, when you read Isaiah 61, there's so many things that you, we have to go heal the brokenheartedness, uh, pour the oil of joy you know, instead of uh, mourning. So all those were, we are fulfilling and it was amazing. Uh, yeah, thank you so much to for taking us to, to in this journey. It was didn't happen just like that. It was like, I'm still going on and I'm still doing, I'm still, um, you know, so all of us, we, yeah, instead, we are just, no, we know that we know that's the truth now in the heart. It's not here. We know that is the truth. We are part of him. We are just part of him. That's what the Lord tells me now. You are part of me. I ask, who am I, Lord? You are part of me. That means I can do all what he is doing, I can do. That is truth, um, and we are manifesting it. We are walking in it. The awareness, um, and I also want to share something else since I got this chance. Remember last time in the um, Chronicles, what if Chronicles? Uh, Kim was saying about the Bible. We we got our own. Uh, we know need that Bible. We got our own, you know, Bible. Remember. Remember that she was mentioning that. So, um, so I happened to attend uh, one of Nancy's seminar just recently on this um, uh, immortality. And then there was this lady, Lindy Strong. She was talking about it the same, writing your own gospel. So that's what um, Kim was saying, you know, you, go to, you can't rely on what people wrote. We have to have our own Bible. And that lady, she literally made us sit and write. Our, uh, um, and what she said is, give your hand, pen to your pen to the Father, and you write your own gospel because that is your gospel. Because someone else's story is not your story. And I was actually online, live stream, and I I just did what she said. I gave the pen to the Father. And half an hour she gave, I wanted, I just wrote four pages. I didn't know how I wrote that. And I didn't even know what I was writing. But then I went back after finish all I read. I, it was amazing. You know, this is Father directly speaking to, that's my gospel. That is what I need. And it was like, I think I was asking everybody to write their own gospel. <laughs> It is so, it was amazing because John has own, they all got their own, but we got our own. So start writing and I'm, uh, yeah, I was like mind blown, 
what father was telling about me, who I am, and um, it was amazing. Uh, that's one. And one more thing, Helen. I, you know, last week you talked about Anita, Anita Majori or somebody. Mm -hmm. Remember, you talked about her book. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So two days ago, her I didn't even really was looking in the Facebook. She just appeared, and then she offered a video on her journey, a free video, and. I went and listened to that and that was another amazing thing. <laughs> and I just ordered the book, Dying to Be Me, and I'm getting it today. <laughs> it is so good. I think, yeah, it's it's so much more than what we think, you know, our mind. And I don't know whether she is a Christian or I don't know who she is, but she experienced that love in the other side and and wow, that is what we all need here. Uh, yeah. it's, it's everything coming together. Yeah. We are walking out. I'm so excited. I know. Thank you. <laughs> Thank isn't, you. Isn't it amazing, the synchronicity? Like we bring up a subject and mm -hmm. then, I mean, it just happens to be there. It just yeah. happens to be a free video. Just ha No, there are no coincidences. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it, I felt so yeah, good. So good. Yeah. It's so good. And you know, I love that you brought up uh the co-creating because Caroline, that's exactly what you're doing. You are creating uh in that relationship. That's a lot that's fabulous. That just see, we're getting the words. The words are coming. <laughs> the words are coming. Sharina, that's amazing. Okay, Gina. Well, I was um wow. What what beautiful sharings and beautiful experiences and engagements. So thank you. Wow, I'm just I'm so full over here. Um and Caroline was talking about um I am the redeemer. I too had that very same word. <laughs> um and I, I did a little study on it, but um, I'm thinking about, you know, and I've been singing uh, Handel's Messiah all week. I know that my Redeemer liveth. Not that it's in that context. It's just the song keeps running in me. So um, anyway, um, I was thinking about redeeming. I am the Redeemer. I am the redeemed. I am the redeemer. Jesus said, I'm the redeemer. So then I am too, right? And um, I thought, well, wait a minute now. Evil, disease, sin can't be redeemed. No. Because God didn't create it. That's right. That's right. So, so I bring my intent. I bring my portion to the event, to, to the word. I redeem the time, I redeem the event, I redeem the past, and I redeem the relationship, or whatever it is, in the quantum, like what Karen was talking about, and like what we were all talking about, in this quantum way, like what Caroline said, she goes and has a conversation with her sister, or, or whoever, whatever, whatever it all is, um, that is the act of being the redeemer in the quantum realm. Mm -hmm. I thought, wow, that, that's so crazy. And then I did this little study. Deem is to come to think or judge, consider, imagine, feel, believe, esteem, reckon, allow, conceive, hold. I thought, okay, here we go. And then redeem is to buy it all back, repurchase right. that relationship, free from what distresses or harms, to free from captivity, to release, to extradate, extricate, to clear, to reform, to repair, to restore, to retrieve, to fulfill, to answer, to comply with, to keep, to satisfy, 
to meet, to complete, to rescue, to deliver, and to release from bondage. I thought, how? If I start being the redeemer in the quantum world and do all those things that we we're talking about, imagining and redeeming the relationships, the time, the events, the words, the whatever. What do I want to do? What is my point of view? Am I doing it from me or am I doing it from the Lord? In Christ, in him. Is it from the old or is it, am I going to do it in the new? I'm, do I do it from the human or from the divine realm? From my sacred self? Do I, is it from bondage or the redeemed? And I thought, wow, wow, wow. Is it in the present or in the past? And I, I, I just... I delved in into that and and so we all brought it up and I thought well I guess it's worth mentioning because it's it's who we are it's what we do it's what we're allowed to do it's within our grasp our intent it's our portion and what would that bring union right yeah communion um and so anyway and then I started thinking, well, you know, it brings restoration. And I thought, well, no, a better quantum word is transformation because the trans is the beyond what we think and know in this world. And then the for reforming of the, of the thing, that. Love so it. we can be that. Oh, so that was a partly what I also um delved into this week so you brought it up so thought i'd bring it up too i asked gina if she'd work on another uh, etymology and entomology uh lesson for us because they're so much fun so we're just going to ignore all that right now till you put it all together again okay and thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that was awesome that was that was totally awesome i'm um it, Released bond. I just wrote release from bondage to co-union to that communion, that oneness, the union. Wow. That's thank you, Caroline. Just one tiny thing. Um, I know Gina covered it, but redeem free again. So, yeah, you can't redeem evil, but evil. I see it as like anything, a garment, some dirt gets onto it. So there's a before the evil. There's an underneath the evil. So that's what we're redeeming, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. all. <laughs> totally, totally. Wow, what a, what a rich evening. <clears throat> I don't see any more hands. Is everyone doing okay? Yeah. Wow. Well, I, I, this has just been um, so uplifting. So, so personally, I'm so grateful for the words that have come to to um, wrap themselves around our hearts in in this, and uh, and I'm truly, truly believing that we we are continuing into a an understanding and a depth and an intimacy of something that just isn't a theory it's our it's our individual and collective intimacy in in the lord in this and uh, so appreciating uh, being in it together just absolutely just feel the 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 union and uh the love that you all come in with and it's actually very exciting actually and we're from everywhere from africa to new zealand to australia to <laughs> the us great britain wow what a what an evening if no one else uh would like to to share anything. Tomorrow is Eddie's birthday. Okay, here we are. <laughs> there we are. Uh, Eddie's birthday, 
tomorrow. No, no. Eddie? Happy birthday, buddy. Yeah. No, I want to. Oh, I just thought I'd share something. And then you inter inter interrupted me. <laughs> May I share? Absolutely. Of course. Well, years ago, um, we uh, we had a magic bullet, you know, like uh, when we prayed, we prayed in the, in the name of Jesus. And uh, that would be give us the stamp of approval, like whatever we prayed in the name of Jesus, it was done because we used that uh, there. And then uh, <clears throat> it reminded me when I think I heard, I, I think I heard that Kathy was changing her meditation to I am in God. And I remember because we were at our home group, we were saying, well, what can, if it's not a, a stamp of approval, what can we do? And, and we said, well, uh, you know, so I took and I, I climbed into Jesus and, and I just went in there and then, uh, uh, sort of, I took his hand or whatever, but I said, I pray in Jesus. And uh, I kept saying that. And all of a sudden, uh, if I sanctify food or whatever, I find that the body of Jesus has disappeared because I am God. And so I, I can say, I bless this food. I sanctify it. Like, And I find that that's... You know that that was my um, progression from in the name of Jesus in Jesus, and now I'm just saying I sanctify this food. You know, so just thought I'd share that. Well, and yes, it's my birthday, but tomorrow, so big deal. <laughs> Thank that, you. That's a that's a crappy attitude, dear. Oh, okay. Sorry. Okay, thank it's you. It's my birthday tomorrow. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Your mom was pretty happy. Yeah. Really? Yeah, she was She was really happy to meet you. And she knew that you'd meet this girl a few years later. Yeah. There you go. Uh, anyway, that th I love that you shared that. Uh, that, that. That's a great, great analogy of the progression that, that both of us made. I mean, coming coming out of a um, church background where in the name of Jesus was was the like nobody you, you didn't feel like you prayed unless you said that to the place of knowing that you are actually in him and uh and you are him and how good how good is that journey that's awesome caroline yeah i feel bad that i that i'm talking so much but anyway what i was going to say was many many years ago many years ago before i had a lot of understanding god told me two things now as we now know when he tells me something he's actually telling you as well so please take it to yourself Please don't think Caroline's the big hero. But what it was was one day you will be the greatest prayer on this earth. He spoke in my language, prayer, back then. One day you'll be the greatest prayer on this earth. And I thought, wow, that's amazing. So I never told anyone because it's like I thought at the time it was about me. But of course, now I realize it's everyone that has the same redeeming spirit. And then he also, um, one day I might share it or write it out or something, but I had a huge experience one night where all night long I traveled the world in half sleep and healed everyone. I was healing people. And, you know, a lot of people out there are saying, no, healing's finished. It's all finished. Now we're moving on. Well, sorry, but I haven't done that yet. And God said, I'm going to do it. I, we. He said, you're going to travel the world and you're going to just heal everyone. And and so when I was healing at the time, walking, going around the world on buses and cafes, on planes, you name it, something happened. He said to me, I said to him, in Jesus' name, and God said, no. 
don't say in Jesus' name. And I was like so shocked that I told someone. <laughs> and I said, I'm not to say in Jesus' name. Well, I'm not sure if we're the same good friends now that we used to be because I'm departing from Jesus and everything in his precious worshipping name. But no, it's a whole different perspective. So look, that's for all of us. I, I feel that I can say that. That's not just me. Oh. We are all becoming, we will be, we are the greatest. I am the greatest prayer and healer on this earth. Yeah. Well, yeah. take that yeah. one on board because he told me that. <laughs> and that was like 20 years ago. Anyway, over and out again. <laughs> Caroline, that is that is so so good. That is so good. And we and uh, let's all take a vote now. We would like to uh, have Caroline uh, share for a session, evening, a week, month. Like, let's a uh, show of hands, please. Okay, Caroline. It seems that you've been voted in. So whenever you're ready, uh, I am off to Australia for six weeks to do my first paid job in 40 years. And so it means police checks and CVs and I've never done a paid job. So, and I had to get two references for a paid job and I haven't got any. So they we had to sort of, <laughs> you know, and um, and then after that, so it'll be about eight weeks. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> wow. Well, you will, Thank keep, you. you will keep in touch. Yeah, I might not be able to be on these because I'll be working. But well, um... okay. we'll, we've got you, babe. We know where you live. We've got you. I'll be around. I'll be listening to all these when you put them onto the okay. YouTube. Okay, okay. thank you. <laughs> wow, I love that. So now we've got somebody telling us to write our uh, Bible gospel and somebody telling us not to to that were the best prayer. I kind of like this. This is really, really kind of a uh, good place to be. I like this. Smile, Caroline. Uh, Todd Elizabeth. <laughs> there you are. I like that too. Uh, no, I was just trying to remember that verse um, where we're right. surrounded by the answer, where we... What is that verse? Remember, you taught it when we were doing intention prayer that we speak it out from maybe it's from the center of the name, but we're surrounded by the answer. Uh, what is that? Does anyone remember what that verse is? Uh, Jen, does. Jen remembers it. She's like, listen, mom. <laughs> I know. It'll, you know when it'll come to us, right? About <laughs> one in the morning and we'll sit up and go. That's it. That's what she's talking about. <laughs> Jen, we're listening. Is it in the darkness around the throne? No. Oh. No, it's where where we surrounded by the answer. <laughs> I got that part. <laughs> Speak it out from the center of the name, maybe. Oh. We're surrounded by the answer. Hmm. It's not ringing a bell to anyone. It's Bible. Maybe I wrote my own Bible. No, really. I wish I had my phone next to me, but I don't right here. You, you do. Oh, no, I do. Here. Todd's Googling it. Okay. I think it's from the gospel of. Is Hebrews not. 12. Is it Hebrews 12 verse 1. Therefore, we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses. Is that the one? No. So it's actually mm -hmm. not from our Bible. It's from um, the book of an apocryphal book yeah an apocryphal book oh. you know it'll come right i know he's googling are you googling yes serena do you remember oh no no i don't remember but i just wanted to say about uh, eight uh, you know what so i felt like because of the stepping in his he in his name is in his character. His, so when you step into his character, so that's who you are, you know, need, uh, you know, in that name means that is the character we are in. That's right. Uh, and yeah, yeah, it just looked at me like, you know, so we all are 
coming, becoming, yeah, his character. So we, so that's what I, when he was telling, it was talking to me like, wow, he's coming to me just because he was stepping in this character. Amen. <laughs> character so, and nature. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. I think it might be in the book of Jasher. Oh, of Jasher? I think. Oh, we'll look it up. <laughs> Maybe okay. I'll, I'll email you, Helen. You can send okay. it out. <laughs> All right. I'll do that. I'll do that. <laughs> Did you have your hand up for some? Shrina, did you want to say something? No. No. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Jen really wants to say hi to everyone. Jen, hi, we're listening. Jen. Hi, Jen. Hi, Jen. Uh, <laughs> we hear hi, Jen. You. Uh, she is Good our barometer. <laughs> Am I? Can you hear me? It's yeah. Loud. Okay, I just have to say that when I looked in Jen's eyes for the first time, and I had looked at her for many moons when we started the Zoom saying, guys, are you watching her? She so gets it. Uh, we, had a, we had a moment, and it was about remembering, and I saw the God in her and vice versa, and it was beautiful. Anyways, I love, love, love her. <laughs> Thank you, Lena. That's so beautiful. That's true. That's true. You connected. Yeah. Wow. So talking about I am the redeemer many years ago, um, someone actually told me this about Jen, mm -hmm. but it's like I I she said that Jen is like at the oh. um the judgment seat or whatever, and it's like she's stamping forgiven, free, free for everybody. And and this I know because like when people are drawn to Jen, you know, you can just see it. People, there are some that are drawn that are some that aren't. But like when people come to Jen, it's like all their walls are down and you can just see God just mm -hmm. reaching into every single one, every single one. Mm -hmm. And there's another thing that happened too. We went to New York to visit my brother. This was years ago. But it was so amazing because he was, he's in, um, he, he's like, we went down, took the elevator down out the front door where there was like a, a doorman there. And we walked out in the middle of everything, like people, cars honking. I mean, we, the financial district, the financial district there in New York, but oh my gosh, it was so crazy. And Jen just was like, I mean, she just went wild and it was so awesome because you could see people trying not to look like trying to be polite and trying not to look. And then there were some worker guys that were like, you go girl, you know, just getting right in there with her. And, but I just felt the Lord just through Jen bringing such breakthrough. And we also went to um, the, where was it where they had the gold bars? The federal bank. The, the, yeah, the, the fed, we went to the, the federal yeah. bank. We went down to where they had the, the gold bars, like the lowest level. Jen went wild and it wasn't negative. Like, you know, sometimes now she, she gets angry, but no, it was the glory. Like all of a sudden we dropped down underneath where they have the, the subways. I mean, it's the lowest place there in New York and just Jen went wild. And I, and I'm like my nerves and I'm thinking, what is happening? Like, what is going on? And the Lord told me like, she's releasing a vibration deep within, you know, in, in this lower place. And Connor had had a dream about the gold bars. And so that's why we went to the fed. That's why we went on this whole trip, but it was so amazing because like in the natural, I was very rattled. <laughs> But I was like, this is like sheer joy coming out of her and <laughs> what to do, you know, but yeah, it was just amazing. So glory, Jen, glory on. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Lana. That's. Oh, yeah. That's so great. Well, what a rich, rich, rich evening. Thank you. No more hands. Well, this person loves you. We're going on tomorrow to celebrate 85 years. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah.
Amazing. Amazing. What a, what a gift. What a gift, Eddie. Thank you for coming. We'll see you next week. I think it's, is it June next week? Or are we still in May? I've lost track of time. 22nd. We'll still be in May. All right. Okay. Well, uh, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May make his face to shine on you, be gracious unto you. May lift up his countenance upon you and grant you his shalom, his perfect peace. Nothing missing, nothing broken. And we'll see you next week. 